On March 4th, FreshBooks hosted a special screening of the documentary Dream Girl with a Q&A with director Erin Bragwell. With its official premiere taking place at the White House and being listed on Oprah's Soul 100, this internationally renowned documentary showcases stories of women entrepreneurs from all walks of life. At the event, attendees had an opportunity to network and share their experiences and stories with each other. You know, we need to be using our money um, to be empowering the next generation because the disparaging you know, numbers against finance for women are so bad. So I really wanted to plant that seed with people too and just try to find um, women that I felt magnetized to in some way. In addition to the screening and Q&A, a panel was held made up of top female entrepreneurs from Toronto, including Vicky Saunders, founder of SheYo, Francisca Sin, who is highly regarded for her business forward approach and skill as an intellectual property strategist, Melissa Nightingale, the head of creators at Wattpad and the co-editor of Copor, and Emily Rose Anflick, the founder of Shiko System, a co-working and wellness space where women thrive. This event was all in preparation for their official International Women's Day celebrations, taking place in New York City, Boston and Chicago. FreshBooks is excited to host their customers and other female founders for a complimentary day of co-working, collaboration and networking, followed by a screening of Dream Girl. I think the first thing, I mean, we're, we're talking about co-working spaces as being like really amazing and incredible resources. And I would say that like the first year of business was the hardest because I was working from home and I was in my pajamas and I would take calls and I would be working all day. And it would, was really overwhelming to feel like I didn't have a break and I didn't have a space to kind of get out of my like head and get out of my office. My office was in my bedroom. I live in a one bedroom apartment in Brooklyn. Um, and even like the idea of going to a coffee shop, like I could or couldn't go and then I'd usually get too busy and not even go. So I think committing myself to a space and to a community where I literally had to get out of my house and force me to do it was totally game changing for me. I feel like it re I really leveled up, I started dressing better, I started like taking care of myself um, and I started leaving the work at home, which as entrepreneurs, we can't do right even you know this morning I was answering host emails and, and working we're always working It's part of our DNA of like loving something so much after the Q&A CEO Mike McDermott shared with us why their company was so excited to partner with co-working spaces for this special event so the past probably three or four years we've held a, uh, a March break from uh, you know the kids are off school and and uh, we host a camp here in our office mm -hmm. with about usually 30 to 50 girls who are like 6 to 11 years old uh, where they get introduced to really technology. They kind of end up building their first website and you know uh, um, get exposed to technology working within it. They work on projects together. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's really inspiring. At the end of the Friday is always fun because uh, everyone shares their projects with the parents come in. and. Uh, anyway, so th that's a yeah, been a, a, a great great project. And Ladies Learning Code is a, a kind of the parent organization that runs that, which has done some yeah. tremendous things. And uh, we've helped support that with fresh bookers going out and teaching classes and, and mentoring in in schools and, and things like that. And a bit of a personal question for you now. Mm -hmm. I, I read an interview with your mum, and she was one of the uh, early pioneers of mental health in children back in the 80s. Do you feel sure. like being around such a ambitious woman from such an early age would have had an influence in, in all the support you're doing now for women in the, the tech community and startup community? I, I mean, it, uh, I guess I like to think so. Uh, I think a big part of it is, um, so th there's me, but I think Fresh Bookers as a whole, they're the ones who find more of these opportunities and, and bring them forward and, and, and want to see them come to life. So I think it's it's uh, it's, it's not just me. Maybe in some pixie dust uh, my uh, mom has uh, instilled within me, I have an influence, but I think it's a whole team thing and I'm really proud of that part of FreshBooks.